Hey, what's up guys? Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to bypass this activation screen. This is for the iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS or 4. It doesn't work on the 4S, it doesn't work on the iPhone 5 unfortunately. Anyways, this is just a remake to a video I already had. So if you're stuck on this screen and you have a little slider at the bottom and it just lets you go to emergency call, just follow this and it'll show you how to activate your iPhone. I made an older video. This is a remake because everything's changed and now it's been about a year and this is much easier to follow. What you're going to need to do is download two things. Go to my website. The link is in the video description and download the newest version of Red Snow you see. It's at the top, the newest one. Just look for the absolute newest one you see. It doesn't matter. In this video I'm going to be using a particular version but I know you're going to be watching it at a different time so it doesn't really matter just the newest one and you're going to need the firmware file for your device whatever version your iPhone is running so mine is on 4.2.1 if you don't know what version it's on I'm going to show you in a minute how to figure that out anyways if you're stuck on this it says we're sorry we are unable to continue with your activation or it says there is no sim card in your iPhone something along those lines don't worry this will fix all of that anyways just go to red snow once you download it and then what you're gonna do is open it up if you have no idea what version your iPhone is on at the bottom it'll tell you it'll say iPhone then in parentheses the first numbers you see is the version as you can tell mine says 4.2.1 so I'm on 4.2.1 and my iPhone is a 3G so what I'm gonna do is download the 3G 4.2.1 firmware file links to them are in the description for your iPhone Yours is gonna be different but anyways what you're gonna do is go to the extras tab then click select IPSW find your firmware file obviously Obviously mine is different but it looks a little bit similar see it says right here iPhone 1 comma 2 for my 3G the 1 comma 2 means 3G then it'll say the version after that 4.2.1 yours might say 5.0 5.1 whatever version you're on anyways just click open then it'll say it has been successfully identified click OK then click back then what you're going to do is click jailbreak and give it a minute to load. Alright, so once it loads, what you're going to do is uncheck everything except for install Cydia. So leave that one checked. Everything else, uncheck it. You don't need anything else. Yours is going to look different from mine since I have an iPhone 3G which is really old. But uh, it really doesn't matter. The only thing you need checked is install Cydia. Anyways, once you do that, click next. Then it's going to make you put your iPhone into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, it'll give you the instruction. But um... I can show you how to do that too. First step is to plug in your iPhone to your computer, then power it off. And I'm sorry that this uh, video is a little weird. It's because I'm recording it like sideways because my tripod is too big to fit on my desk. But anyways, that's besides the fact. Once you power off your iPhone, it'll let you click next. And once you click next, it'll give you the instructions for DFU mode. Don't worry, you can be a little off. It doesn't have to be perfect. Anyways, click next. And what you're going to do is hold the power button. And once you see the Apple, hold both the home and the power button. You're going to wait for it to turn off. Keep holding it like three seconds afterward. So it turned off one, two, three. So that's good. Release the power button. Continue holding the home button and iTunes will pop up or this red snow will move. Once it does either one of those things, you can let go. But for then, you have to keep holding it. Anyways, my red snow moved from uh, the older DFU mode instructions to the actual process. So you can let go once yours does that. I'll set my iPhone right there so you can see what's happening and just give it a minute or two, let it do its thing and I'll be back once all of this is done. Alright, you're going to see your iPhone doing all these crazy things, it'll say different stuff on the bottom. Don't worry, all we're doing is bypassing this activation screen and leave it alone, don't worry about it too much, just don't unplug it or anything. It'll be done by the time you know it and what's going to happen is your iPhone is going to turn itself off and on and once it does that, it'll be back to normal and bypass that activation screen. Also, even though Red Snow says it's done, your iPhone will still be jailbreaking and all that good stuff. So leave it alone. Don't panic. I'm sorry my camera went out of focus, but um, leave it alone. It's not really done. It, Red Snow, you can exit it out of your computer if you really want. So here, I'll exit it out. That's not going to affect it. But leave your iPhone plugged in just in case it's dying or the battery life is really bad. So just leave it alone. All right, as you can tell, the iPhone turned itself off and now it's powering itself back on. You're almost done. It's just going to pretend to activate. Don't worry about anything else. Alright, you might see the activation screen, you're gonna panic saying it didn't go through. Don't worry, it came back and as you t could tell, it like skipped it. So now when you look at your iPhone, just slide to unlock and there's all the apps and you can use your iPhone now. Now mine does say searching dot 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 and you know if you have that problem with your iPhone, I have a special series on that, but if you just needed to activate it and use your phone as an iPod touch, 
you're good to go you're done so thanks for watching this video guys please comment rate subscribe if you have any suggestions for future videos feel free to let me know and as always if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below